Now to images that, based on recent Pacific Northwest history, might seem miraculous to some. That's a Chinook salmon resting in Oregon's Klamath Basin. That video, along with these pictures, were released by the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife last week. And a team with the Uruk Tribe Fisheries Department posted this video earlier today, taken while they were out surveying how far salmon are traveling in the newly undammed river. They say this marks one of the first anadromous fish to return to the Oregon part of the basin since the early 1900s. An anadromous fish is a fish that lives between fresh and salt water, migrating from the ocean or sea to fresh water to spawn. Migration for Chinook salmon had been blocked for over a century by four hydroelectric dams along the Klamath River. The Iron Gate Dam, the Copco 1 and Copco 2 dams, and the J.C. Boyle Dam. In 1918, construction on the first dam, Copco 1, stopped migration from the lower basin in California to the upper basin in Oregon. But now that's changed thanks to the largest dam removal project in the nation's history, which came as part of a national movement to return rivers to their natural flow. The Klamath River dam removal was completed earlier this month, marking a major victory for the local tribes. The Klamath and Yurok tribes, along with others, have been working alongside ODFW to monitor the restoration project. They'll be keeping an eye on Chinook salmon, coho salmon, steelhead, and Pacific lamprey populations as they return to the habitat above the dams. ODFW and the tribes involved will be holding a press conference answering questions and giving more information on this effort. We reached out to get the specific date for the conference and we're told either later this week or next week. So, of course, we'll keep you updated.